Good morning and uh, warm welcome to all of you. It is uh, beginning to cool here. I think before you leave, it is going to start raining, it will cool off, then warm welcome will be really nice. Okay. Um, it is a great pleasure for us to uh, organize this first time ever, possibly the first time ever in the world, a 10,000 teacher training program on research methodologies. And that is done, supposed to be done through about 160 centers, 150 plus. We were trying to get 200 centers, but whatever we have, 150 is pretty good, and 172 as of now. So that is really good. So this cannot be done without your participation, enthusiastic participation. In that sense, a warm thanks to all of you. My name is Kannan Modgalya. I coordinate the uh, National Mission on Education Technology sponsored projects at IIT Bombay. This 1000 teacher training program, that is the official name given to this. Of course, now we are thinking about uh, 10,000 teacher empowerment through this methodology. As a matter of fact, the government is so happy with this. We are also very happy with this. So, we have given feedback to the government. The government officials have seen them in person. And uh, now they want to extend this to 1 lakh teacher training. As a matter of fact, we expect that there would be many such programs happening in parallel, organized by several institutions, right, on different subjects. It need not happen from IIT Bombay, but what we have done is, thanks to the excellent infrastructure available here and the excellent staff support here. We have been able to conduct it smoothly and we have come up with a model that we think which will work if executed properly. So, we are in a position to hand it over to anybody who would want to organize such events from their own colleges and universities. It could be for their own university or nearby colleges or people with special interest, similar interest across the country. So, we have all the facilities available. The software for this is AVU, which has been created by Amrita University and it has been funded by the same National Mission on Education through ICT. As a result, it is available free of cost for every academic institution to use. So, which means that if you are interested, you can certainly get hold of it and then organize it. The bandwidth required for this is also available through the National Mission on Education through ICT has already given funds for that. There is also another project called NKN, you may be aware of that. So, both of these together are working in tandem to provide uh, bandwidth to everybody who is interested. The mission, National Mission on Education through ICT was started in 2009 with a total outlay of 4612 crore. Out of that, 60 percent was devoted to bandwidth provision. Okay. About 1800 crores were devoted to content generation. So, the 1000 teacher training program and now the 10,000 teacher training program, these are all supported by funding available from the content generation part. I told you about the bandwidth. So, the bandwidth enormous money is provided for and because it is a huge purchase, BSNL gave a huge discount, in fact 95 percent discount. So, the bandwidth was available at 5 percent of the cost, out of which the mission paid 75 percent and the universities were asked to pay one fourth of that, approximately 1.25 percent, approximately 1 percent of the cost to the university that it would be made available. So, that was the scheme. The idea was to make this bandwidth available to every university and then of course, every university was asked to give bandwidth to every affiliating college of its own. And the government said that in case a university demonstrated that it used all the bandwidth and effectively and that they are running out of bandwidth, the ministry would give more bandwidth. Right? After all, we have lot of fiber running all over the country. So, there is no problem at all in giving more bandwidth. 
in content generation there are actually a large number of projects are supported one of the unique things about this mission is it has given projects to almost every institution in the country that came up with a good proposal whether it is private or government whether it is an affiliating college so whether it is a private institution or government institution whether it is a state government supported or central government supported the reason being that all the students who go to these colleges private colleges for example are our students why do these students go to these colleges because there are not enough seats in government colleges so it is not students mistake so the government took a stand that whatever we do should be made available to everybody only thing is whatever the government gives should be made available to the students to the learners free of cost that is the reason that no charges are levied on any of these projects and the, those are made available student to the students free of cost now so let me just talk about so there are three things that are required i mentioned two things one is the bandwidth the second one is content generation the third one is the connectivity and um, and a device to do the computing so that is going to be done by akash which i am going to let professor fatak talk about when he stern comes okay because you know that the akash project has come to iit bombay we are really excited by this and then i'm going to have uh, i'm going to uh, let professor fatak have the pleasure of describing that i would want to briefly describe some of the content related projects happening at iit bombay this is part of what is called a talk to a teacher project this 1000 teacher training program or now it is going to be called 10000 teacher training program it has uh, uh, a few other components iit bombay's courses were transmitted live in fact about 5000 hours of lectures were transmitted live from iit bombay through uh, cd center for distance engineering education program and uh, we are in the process of releasing these as open source that is one of the activities the other activity of the talk to a teacher project is uh, spoken tutorials through which we have been training a large number of students around the country is there anyone who knows about spoken tutorials i see that there are some people yes thanks in fact we conducted two th more than 2000 workshops in the last one year uh, in fact if there is time i would request my staff members to come and talk to you about half an hour if you can spare time on this so these were the things done through the talk to a teacher project then we have uh, nptel nptel you all know about it so i don't have to talk about it then the third one is um, uh, robotics project e yantra it is done by our colleague professor kavi arya of computer science department um, and in fact we might give a demo of that through akash maybe during the course of this workshop and then we have an animation project it's called oscar done by professor sridhar ayer uh, of computer science department and then he uses an open source um, animation software called blender and we have excellent spoken tutorials on blender in fact it is possible for us to conduct workshops on blender to in all your colleges we have a project on um, uh, free and open source software for science and engineering or fosi so that is done by professor prabhu ramachandran of aerospace professor madhu belur of electrical engineering i am also one of the investigators of the project we are focusing on uh, two software uh, systems in particular uh, scilab and python okay in fact we might have a workshop on uh, scilab little later maybe it, it may be there tomorrow and then we have um, development of design courses by professor ravi puvaiya and his team in industrial design center now all this all these projects i might have missed uh, something uh, uh, but i think i have covered most of the important ones all these projects are collaborative in nature we would like you to use them we would 
invite you to also participate in them in creation of these. Okay, because if you look at um, this uh, project, there is only one story that I want to tell. There was a discussion of remember I told you that one GBPS bandwidth has to be given to every university, and uh, at that time uh, there was a discussion in project approval board, uh, which is the final authority that gives the money. And there was a discussion. There was somebody who said that. Uh, the, to the director of this mission, Mr. Sinha, director of uh, additional secretary MHRD and director NMEICT. So, that per, uh, there was a proposal to transfer 300 crores to BSNL, so that BSNL would give the bandwidth. So, there was this question, somebody asked, Mr. Sinha, do not you think that we will be you know putting lot of money down the drain, because many of these universities will not know how to use the bandwidth, we are just wasting money. Right. So, why do not we run some pilots, give it to some 10 colleges, 100 colleges, 100 institutions, make them develop something very good and then we can roll it out. So, everybody thought it was a great idea, then Mr. Sinha replied. So, he said there are two points, first you can never perfect the technology, you do pilot, you keep on trying to improve it. The colleges that are institutions that are doing pilot will never be satisfied. So, wait, 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 another standard is coming 6 months from now, after that it will get better. That is number 1, you can never perfect. Second one is even if you can perfect it, let us say after 10 years, by 10 years, in 10 years, so many generations of students would have gone from all these colleges. I want, want them to have the technology now, today. So, let there be only 5 percent who will benefit, it is okay. Let us give it to them. So, that motion to transfer 300 crore was passed unanimously by the PAB. So, what I want to say, I am telling you this story to tell you that this one is an egalitarian, that we want to reach out to as many people as possible, to all interested people that we want to benefit. Okay. Not that we want to select only some best, we will work only with them. Okay. Try to make it available to as many people as possible, let all the people who are capable of using it benefit. right? So, I am really delighted that you are all here, it is a, it's a huge task, it is a mammoth task and let us all work together and uh, let us um, uh, spread the light of education. Thank you. Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you. I can see a lot of familiar places, faces some very senior friends. Thank you so much, sir, for coming personally. Uh, some of you have been participating in the workshops that we conduct for 1000 teachers at a time. Uh, the mandate that we had was to conduct some 12 workshops, but next year the ministry wants us to conduct workshops for 1 lakh teachers and uh, we cannot do that unless we increase the scale. So, we said that the last of the workshops of the current funded series, we will try to conduct this as a mega workshop. We had planned to do it in December, but the ministry wanted us to do it in June, so that the lessons can be used in the subsequent workshops. That is why it is a bit of a rush as you can see in announcement, in organization and so on. Frankly, I wanted about 300 remote centers to be ready across the country. Uh, we could not do that, but I think our latest number is about one. 177, 172. These workshops are slightly different than normal workshop, this particular one, because it is on a subject which is currently not necessarily taught in all the colleges and universities. So, it is a new course. That is the reason why instead of a 5 day program, we said a 3 day program is good enough, because we are actually starting from scratch in some sense. We have had some experience in conducting this course. We have uh, research methodologies course in two disciplines already as a full fledged semester course. And we had the privilege of inviting Professor Karmarkar from IIT Madras, whose lectures on introduction to research were a great hit amongst the research scholars. He of course, had addressed research scholars. We have requested him now to refine his lectures to address the teachers across the country. So, thank you very much uh, for coming forward to doing this mega workshop with us. Uh, 
we will over the next two or three days uh, do a dual task of first understanding roughly what contents we have planned. We are going to do that by getting sample lectures delivered to you which will be delivered later in the main workshop so that we can interact. Uh, two of the sample lectures, I mean two of the uh, faculty members will deliver their sample lecture, they will do so in absentia. So, we will use their recorded lectures in order to check how effective the recorded lecture playing is because that is part of our larger methodology of permitting teachers of engineering colleges to formally use recorded lectures as the lectures in their regular courses. A committee has been set up by the government to see how to incentivize teachers to use e-contents more effectively in their course, but that is a separate. There are of course uh, logistics issues and the organizational issues, we will discuss all of them in due course of time. But an important part of this inaugural session is for all of us to get to know at least the names and faces of all participants. Uh, while I know many of you, but not everyone knows everyone else, so it might delay the tea break by about uh, 10 minutes if you do not mind, but I would request all participants uh, uh, to just you please do not get up because getting up on this uh, uh, structure is not very easy and comfortable. So, just be seated a microphone will be passed on and please uh, tell all of us uh, your name and the institute that you come from and the discipline that you teach in your college. Please. Good morning to all of you. Myself Basura Chokiman from KLE College of Engineering Technology. My subjects are network analysis, field theory and control system. Thank you. Good morning to all of you. Uh, sir, I am Vinak Joshi from Angri Institute of Technology and Management, Bilgam. Uh, I, I teach computer science subjects. My interesting area is network. Good morning, sir. Myself, Rajesh Kumar Chakravarti. I am from City Vesnov Institute of Technology and Science, Indore. Sir, I teach uh, Compiler Design and Web Engineering. Uh, good morning, sir. My name is Shubhrendu Gohaniyogi. I am from Sir Padampat Singhani University, Udaipur. I am in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I am teaching D DBMS networking and related subjects. Thank you. Hello all. From MPST ME Sherpur, I am Ajay Joshi. I am from Civil Engineering Department. Dr. R. K. Singh, coming from RGPV Bhopal, the State Technological University. I am teaching uh, digital signal processing, etc. Hello, good morning, sir. Uh, I am Jitendra Singh Rathor from Thakral College of Technology, Bhopal and uh, I am the, uh, belong to the Department of Info Information Technology and my interesting uh, research areas are network security, network and uh, I am teaching computer network. Morning to all. I am Viresh Fuskele from St. Aloysius Institute of Technology, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. I am teaching thermal engineering subjects. Kedar Sant from Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune and I am from Mechanical Engineering Department and teaching cryogenics and refrigeration. Good morning, sir. Uh, myself, Amit Dogar from National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research, Chandigarh. And uh, we used to conduct various uh, short term and uh, long term program for faculty members of uh, Polytechnics and Engineering College. So I'm, I belong to computer science. And uh, my areas are Linux, open source, web technologies, etc. Good morning to all. I'm Ajish SS, working in Carmel Engineering College in uh, Computer Science Department. Uh, I often, uh, my research area is image processing. I often take classes in image processing. Good morning to all of you. Myself, S. V. Surnarayana. I am from Rendu Varlakshmi Venkatra Institute of Technology Brim, from Bhimvaram, Andhra Pradesh. And I belong to computer science department. My research area is data mining. I often take the classes in operating systems and computer organization. Thank you. Good morning to all. I am Ramesh Babuyan from Nita Minakshi Institute of Technology. I am from Mechanical Engineering Department and I teach finite element methods as well as theory of elasticity. Myself, K. Nadrajan from RVS College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. I am teaching triple E subjects and management subjects. Especially in my research area is renewable energy sources. Good morning. I am Dr. K. Balamurgan from Institute of Road and Transport Technology, Erod. I am from Mechanical Engineering Department teaching manufacturing engineering subjects. Good morning. Myself, Dr. C. Govind Raju from Government College of Engineering, Salem, Tamil Nadu. I am teaching the subjects with the specialization of power electronics and drives. Good morning, all of you. I am Srinivasan Malan from Banari Institute of Technology, Satya Mangalam, Mirod. 
I belong to electrical department. My research areas are energy conservation and management. Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Madhuri Shakte from MNIT Bhopal. I am from the Department of Mathematics and teach mathematics to all the engineering and uh, MBA classes. Good morning to you all. I am Dr. Chitra Desai, Marathwada Institute of Technology Engineering College. And my subjects uh, in the area of research are software engineering and uh, network security. I am Pushpalata from SJ College of Engineering, Mysore, Karnataka. I belong to computer science department. I take uh, data structures, software engineering, object oriented uh, design. And my, my domain of interest basically machine learning and data mining. Good morning, one and all. My name is Chakravarti. I am from Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering Technology, Hyderabad. I belong to electrical discipline and my areas of interest are automation and SCADA. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Parth Sharati Malik. I am from uh, Velour Institute of Technology, VIT University. I teach normally uh, nano electronics and opto electronics. Myself, Dr. Uday Dabde, Walchan College of Engineering, Sangli, Maharashtra. I am from Department of Mechanical Engineering. I am related with the uh, Production Engineering Branch. Good morning. I am from D.Y. Patil Colo College of Engineering, Abhijit Mane. I belong to Production Department. Uh, I am uh, subjects of interest are uh, Quantitative Techniques and Manufacturing. Myself, Ajit Patil. I am from Kolhapur Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Kolhapur, Maharashtra. Uh, I am from uh, IT Department and I teach Mobile Communication and Computer Network subjects. My celebrity is Naveen Aswani from the Asipal Institute of Technology. My interest in the wireless sensor network. My celebrity Shivaj Dumar from KC Jargao. I work in computer department and my area of interest is DBMS. My celebrity Manoj Patil. I am from SSBTS College of Engineering Jalgao. And my in uh, area of interest is network security. Good morning everybody. I am Anurag Jain from Gita Institute of Management and Technology, Krukshetra. I am from computer science discipline. I used to teach subjects like discrete maths, compiler design, automata. Myself, Puneet Goswami. I am from Galaxy Global Group of Institutions, Sambala. I am from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And the, my area of interest is software engineering. Good morning. I am Sunil Divekar from Cummins College of Engineering, Pune, uh, Mechanical Department. Good morning, all. I am Suresh Babu from Mother Teresa Institute of Science and Technology, Satupalli, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I am from EC department. My interesting areas are digital design, VLSI design, and electronics. Good morning to one and all. I am Dr. Kumar Swami Gupta from JNT College of Engineering, Hyderabad. I belong to Mechanical Engineering Department. Good morning, sir. Uh, I am Krishnaya from Jagannapalli Bayar Engineering College, Hyderabad. I am in EC department. I teach VLSI subjects and wireless and mobile communication engineering, digital signal processing. Good morning to all. I am Ram Prasad from Lourdes Madha College, Trivandrum. I belong to EC department. My uh, areas include digital communication and electromagnetic theory. Thank you. Good morning. Myself, M.R. Ramteke from Vishweshara National Institute of Technology, Nagpur. I belong to electrical department and I teach power electronics. And uh, we are involved in almost all the short term courses transmitted under national missions of technology. Thank you. Good morning, sir. My name is V. Srinath. I am from Hindustan Institute of Technology and Management, Agra, Uttar Pradesh. And I belong to electrical and electronics engineering department and I teach power electronics drives machines. Good morning sir, I am Ashok Patole from Pillai Institute of Information Technology, New Panvel, Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra. I am teaching in mechanical department and uh, the subjects are automobile engineering, manufacturing planning and control and all over certain subjects. Good morning sir, I am Anand Patel from VPMP LDRP Institute of Technology, Gandhinagar. I belong to EC branch and I am interested in signal processing. Good morning, sir. My name is Raja Ramesh from Regency Institute of Technology, Yanam, UT of Pondicherry. Belongs to Computer Science and Engineering Department. My research area is data mining and. Good morning, sir. I am Anand Kumar from SVP Engineering College, Visakhapatnam. My area of interest is cloud computing. Good morning, sir. I am Narin Pasing Rathor from Kova College of Engineering and Technology, Indore. And my teaching subjects are DBMS and software engineering. Pankaj Porwal from Techno India NGR Institute of Technology, Udaipur. Uh, my areas of interest are uh, solid mechanics and applied mathematics. Good morning to all of you. I am Zahir Alam from Thakur College of Engineering, Kandivali, Mumbai. My research areas are wireless networks and securities. I belong uh, to IT department and I teach uh, wireless communication uh, operating system subjects. I am Shamshir Sikh. I am from Medicaps. 
Institute of Technology and Management in Dar. Sometimes I teach distributed computing. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Pradeep Thakde. I'm from Amruta University, Bangalore. I'm from Mechanical Engineering Department, and I teach thermal engineering subjects. Thank you. Uh, good morning, all of you. Um, this is Dr. Sudhakar Rao. I'm from Vignan Institute of Technology and Science, and I specialize in embedded systems and image processing. Joshi C. Heron from Amruta University, Coimbatore campus. I teach mechanical engineering, thermal engineering subjects, basically thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Good morning. I am Ravi Chandra Kulkarni from NI Institute of Technology. I am from electrical department and I teach uh, control theory and its applications. I am P. Vamsi Chaitanya. I am from Enhanced Institute Triple IT Hyderabad. We conduct, course, uh, we conduct a course called Certificate in IT Program and uh, my interests are open source web technologies. Good morning one and all. Myself Shir Sagar SR from SB Patil College of Engineering in Dabur, Pune district. Uh, I belong to Mechanical Engineering Department and my teaching subjects are mostly related to thermal engineering. Thank you. Good morning one and all. Myself Dr. Satish Kumar Shah Yurav Kashid. PhD from IIT Bombay only, alumni of IIT, working at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur, Maharashtra State, and uh, teaching water resources engineering, computer programming, numerical methods, etc. Good morning, everybody. I am Abhishek Raghavanshi from Mahakal Group of Institution of Jain. I take DBMS and theoretical computer science. Good morning to all of you. Myself, Dr. Sudhir Tiwari. I am from GS Institute of Technology Science, Indore, MP, and I used to I am in a mechanical engineering department. And I used to take the uh, machine design and material science subjects. Good morning to all of you. Uh, myself, Himan Makwana from Devi LA U University, Indore. Uh, my subjects are data structures and computer graphics. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Anil Kumar Raman, and I am from uh, Federal Institute of Science and Technology, Cochin. I belong to EC department and I teach cryptography. Good morning, everyone. I'm Vijay Ukani from Nirma University, Ahmedabad. Uh, I'm from Computer Science and Engineering Department, and mostly I teach subjects related to data mining and computer networks. Good morning to all. I'm Nand Kumar from Maharaj Institute of Technology, Mysore. I belong to CS Department. I teach all subjects related to computer networks. Good morning, all of you. Myself, Dira Jain, uh, Sangam University, Bilwara, Rajasthan, and my department is Electronics and Communication. My area of interest is low power VLSI designing, nanotechnology, and nanomaterials. Good morning to all. I am CM Rakesh Kumar from KNM Institute of Technology and Science, Tirupati. I like to teach electrical machines. Good morning to all of you. I am Gauri Shankar Reddy from SVU College of Engineering, Tirupati. I am from EC department and my area of research is artificial intelligence. Good morning all. Uh, myself, Dr. Ajay Kotita. Uh, I am from Purnima College of Engineering, Jaipur, Rajasthan. My research area is uh, real-time system and uh, high performance computing. Thank you. Good morning to everyone. I am PC Baskar from Shivaji University's Department of Technology. I belong to MTech Electronics uh, Department and especially in embedded systems and uh, it is related to computer networking. Good morning everyone. I am uh, Mrs. Jyoti Hatte. I am from MS Bidra Engineering College, Latur. I belong to Electronics Department. I teach subjects like analog communication systems, embedded systems, network and lines. Thank you. So thank you very much. Uh, what Professor Gaitonde, my colleague and coordinator for this uh, workshop, actually he keeps calling me the coordinator, I keep calling him the coordinator, so there is some confusion there. What he has done is he has put all the remote centers that we have on the, I think it's Google map, right? Professor? While we are very happy to have a large concentrated set of remote centers which help us to conduct these workshops and they work jointly with us, you will see that most of them are, are on a uh, left diagonal sort of, of the nation. We have a couple of uh, remote centers in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, we have one in Assam, we have one in West Bengal, but there are very few. And as the Kandan said, the government is spending a lot of money in order to empower teachers across the country. And it is a no-brainer that it will not do if the concentration of these efforts or the advantage of these efforts reach only these calls. Professor Kandan asked me to talk about Akash project for which these centers are relevant and I will tell you how it is. So you are the first ones outside uh, IIT to see the 
Akash 2, which has not yet been launched, it will be launched hopefully coinciding, coinciding with this workshop itself. So these are those tablets. Uh, the brief history is that the project started about two years ago. It was awarded to IIT Rajasthan. They did a lot of hard work. They conducted a, a global tender and placed an order on the L1 process. But then some problems came up and uh, the project could not get along. IIT Rajasthan requested the ministry that due to intractable problems we are unable to continue. So this project could be given to someone else. And they polled and we thought that we could do a good job primarily because we are engaged with so many of you or, and through you to so many teachers. Uh, so we said yes, the mandate of this project is to procure 1 lakh Akash tablets and to use these to empower engineering college teachers and students. So you might have read a lot of press on Akash and this and that and school children and so on. There are a lot of half truths circulating in the press. The first batch of Akash tablets are meant for empowering engineering college teachers and students in their educational life. The subsequent batches of the versions of Akash will come, which will of course proliferate everywhere else, right from school to other. Now, the way we have decided to address this mandate is to say that we will use these tablets in a two wrong fashion. The first one, we would like to allocate some of these tablets to chosen engineering colleges where we will give something like 60 to 80 tablets to be issued for a particular course which is being taught by a teacher. And we would like to collect a feedback by of course providing for that course the course contents which are available, the use of Moodle, the use of variety of things new applications that we have developed, etc. Et we will additionally give about 20 tablets to that college for researchers, BE students, semi students from CS, IT, electronic, anywhere for development of new applications and for development of new contents. And these contents and applications which are developed by such researchers will not be limited only to engineering college education. So they must span the entire education spectrum from primary school education in Indian languages to high school education, all subjects, etc. The idea is that while the procurement will probably continue up to November, it will start in July sometimes. So some colleges may get it in the, in the coming semester itself, but most of the colleges will get it sometime during October, November and they can start using it from the next semester. Now, how do we choose these colleges? Clearly, these colleges, if we, if we can't do an RFP and tender for choosing colleges. So colleges have to be chosen uh, in a fashion in which those colleges in IIT Bombay have some rapport and have some relation. And then when we propose to the ministry that look, the best bait for us and the greatest comfort level for us is to choose those remote centers which participate in this national mission workshops. Because through these colleges being remote centers, there is a constant interaction with us. There is an understanding that we have. Ministry has approved this proposal. But they have said that you should also choose some other institutions. So the announcement that I wanted to make is that before this workshop ends, we will collect uh, your willingness or otherwise in participating in this and request for additional proposals. Please understand that these tablets are not to be given to students. One lakh tablets, this is not that partial funding scheme of Akash tablets by the government where 50 percent money is paid by students or something. 100 percent cost of the tablet is being paid by the government. The tablets will continue to belong to IIT Bombay as its property. They are being loaned to these institutions, of course it is a long term loan, uh, obviously, I mean, otherwise if every six months I have to collect back that uh, uh, tablet, the cost of transportation may be more than the cost of it. But the idea is that people who agree to participate in this venture should truly be committed to do R&D, to do development, to use it and to give a constant feedback, continuous feedback. I am sure most of you would be interested, but we will be discerning, we will ask for commitments and so on and so forth. 
so that is the news i i think you will be the first ones in the country to actually deploy these in your colleges for teaching courses using them and in the process discover any weaknesses discover something else that can be done and actually participate in doing it in short this workshop on research methodology is also opens up an important research paradigm for each one of the remote centers additionally we would demand that all tablets given to these remote centers are used in each of the national workshops that we conduct because one application which we have ported here is called the clicker application where we can conduct quizzes if you have seen kon banega karodpati type we had clicker devices actually we design clicker devices here the first one cost us 600 rupees in the affordable solutions lab we are very happy because the commercial clicker devices cost 2500 rupees then we made a better one which cost 1200 rupees to us now we have reached that effort because this tablet we have negotiated at 2263 rupees each so we put that application here there is a lot more about it i will talk about it later but before the tea break i thought i will share with you the good news and the possibility of your teaming up with us not only for the conduct of workshops but additionally for participating in this exercise uh, professor uday gaitonde to offer some closing remarks and then we can break for tea professor gaitonde spearheaded our first non cs workshop that we conducted several years ago uh, on uh, thermodynamics some of you might have attended that workshop i was i was quite happy and proud to get see some of the comments from the participants there were more than 1000 teachers who participated 800, 800 plus yes we are not is 1000 so he was called the god of thermodynamics and believe me iit bombay does recognize him as god of thermodynamics <laughs> <laughs> so professor gaitonde all yours well only a few things uh i created such a map uh, uh, for the centers for thermodynamics that map was very sparse only about 31 centers well i am happy that the um, map is dense but the denseness hasn't spread across india uh, now you will notice one thing which was noticeable in the thermo workshop was that uh, karnataka was a wash out now here karnataka is reasonably densely packed uh, andhra pradesh had only one center at hyderabad now you will see a, a sort of a branch going right up to vijayawada and kakinada uh, there is a frontier mail route you can trace up to ambala chandigarh up to srinagar uh, this was just a grab from the database which was on the ekalavya site so i saw gawati and silchar and i have put them there but i am told that the two centers are not there so we have a blank uh, right from uttar pradesh there are a few centers in uttar pradesh but they are essentially on the outskirts of delhi uh, we would have liked something in uh, lucknow bareilly varanasi uh, and something like that so is bihar you know uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand uh, orissa these are blanks for some reason and i don't think in the days of ict distance is really an issue okay. and uh, for thermodynamics i was informed that teachers from bengal came and stayed at centers in nagpur and based on that i expected a center or two to come up in bengal or in that area but for some reason that hasn't happened uh, the historical definition of india was from setu to himachal and here we have kanyakumari as a center <laughs> maybe not in this group but in the second group which comes and uh, himachal will well srinagar we have srinagar the historical west to east spread from sindhu to iravati well that is history we neither have sindhu with us the major part of sindhu is not with us nor is iravati we have the west has been reasonably well represented but the east needs to be uh, really represented Uh, so i expect that the expansion across india should take place soon and now that professor fatak had shown the carrot that uh, akash will be available only if you are on this map that should uh, lead to an eastward expansion uh, may, may i may i intervene for a few it may be i would like to intervene here 
Uh, I don't know why you call carrot. It's an exciting opportunity to work. In terms of money value, it is not much. But in terms of excitement, it is too much. But I would also like to add that I deliberately did not indicate this to people whom I wrote mail saying you are interested. Because I did not want uh, people to register as remote centers primarily for participating in the Akash Tablet. <laughs> Their passion must be to help other teachers in conducting these workshops. The Akash one is an incidental advantage or other. 